let's I did this in. <clears throat> I think this should be good. So let me make it public now. everyone welcome back to Denise Gaming today I'm going to show you well actually I'm going to create a mod for GTA 4 just wanna do a live stream to just show the process how it works and you know <laughs> if someone is interested maybe you can learn something from this uh, so what I'm doing right now is um, let me show you a picture so I'm trying to make a suit for Faustin character just like in this artwork um, they he has like it kind of looks like a suit but it has like the sleeves over here which looks kind of more like a like a sport jacket but it's kind of mixed so we'll try to make this look similar okay so the first thing I'm going to do is um, yeah, I opened the 3ds max, so that will be where I'll be making the model So let's close all this and I will change the layout a little bit I think I'll probably use No, actually probably gonna use this one and so from here I also need to get the model for the Faustin character so it would be inside um, GG4 and let me let me find it okay so it should be here and that's the character model here and that's his uh, shirt but he doesn't have a jacket so that's what we are going to try to replicate so first thing I will do is I'll extract this one okay and then let's call that Faust and uh, skin yeah we'll save it so the f then first thing I think we also need his textures as well yeah we'll extract all the textures 
and we will also call this um, I make a new folder just call them textures and uh, we'll save it and we'll close this stuff we don't need this now okay so we'll just open that games 4 and from here what we can do okay we're just going to import the character first and you just do the open formats and we'll import that character so it would be this Faustin and Faustin skin and then this um, Faustin.odd file would be the one we going to use so now we're just going to pick the textures as well and it should spawn the character right in inside <laughs> the viewport here okay so let's take a look how it looks like yeah there we go so all right let's focus focus in there okay so this is what we have so far and we'll also disable let me check yeah it's been a while since I've been doing this I think what I'm going to do is yeah take out those helpers so I can actually see the character and also I think I should change yeah I'll change this to the orthographic view so I can actually zoom in a little bit closer to his face and stuff so yeah that's that's how he looks like you know and so what I'm going to do now is I'll just go ahead and I'll try to spawn in another object into the viewport uh, it's pretty much the same way I'm just going to import another texture and now I'm going to import I'm going to import the jacket that I took from Nico and Nico has that jacket so so once we are yeah once we import it so there we go so now all I have to do is basically I have to match the jacket <laughs> to the character so it looks like he actually has it on him and I do have to work on taking out um, that white shirt from the jacket because now we, <laughs> we don't want to have that so first thing I, I think I'll do is um, okay not from here but we have another menu let me actually try to put it somewhere <laughs> where we can see it better um okay it's kind of hard to see this one i'll just disable this one and i'll drag it out so we have this character right here um yeah this is fausta and that's the jacket so what we want to do is we want to hide let's hide this first yeah we'll hide the selection and now we're just going to have just the jacket itself and um, I'll also get rid of those helpers so I don't <laughs> I don't want to see that and also I'm going to put high quality for the for the te quality of the textures so there's there won't be no of those um, you know it looks like it's kind of not going through I mean actually the white shirt goes through the jacket so this way I can actually see it, uh, how it would look like in the game okay so I think first is I'm going to yeah I'm going to have to get rid of this tie and the shirt and just leave the jacket by itself and for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this um, I don't know a modify panel <laughs> from here 
And now we're just going to, let's see. And we're going to click on this ed editable mesh. And I think what we can do is we can grab the polygons or even the element is also good. And yeah, once we hold like control, control on the keyboard, we can actually select all these jacket parts that we can take out from the model basically. And as you can see, all those red parts is selected. And also I'm going to do this side. And yeah, there we go. And also here. So that seems like that's all we have to do. And also select the tie. And we can press delete. So now we just got rid of the jacket. And not the jacket, but the shirt. <laughs> and yeah, there we go. Now we just have plain suit without any of the shirts in there okay well that was one step done basically so now we can enable this guy back we can unhide all and so what we're going to do is we can select the jacket and we can kind of um, move it around to make it fit his outfit as well so as you can see the <laughs> this suit is kind of big on him still well not the suit but it's actually it's kind of small because <laughs> it's still picking through so what we want to do uh, let me look at the artwork again yeah from here you can see like the flaps of the sh of the colors like it goes kind of inside the jacket so we kind of want to replicate that as well so I guess I'll have to scale this a bit, make this jacket a little bit bigger, like on the sides. So what I'm going to do is make it a little bit fatter like that, because it seems like he's kind of fat too, like you can see, he has some belly, you know. <laughs> so I'm going to make it bigger like that, and also on the sides, we're going to make it bigger too. And yeah, there we go. So. And now at least the front looks a little bit better. And what we can also try to do is, uh, I think where here is, there's a little space where we need to move it a bit higher, I would say. Yeah, like something like that. So now uh, there's still something peering in here. Yeah, there's some textures peeking through. We want to get rid of that yeah um well that looks okay i would say now we just have to work on the hands here because it seems like the sleeves are now so high <laughs> to the point that it's like the arms don't match with the character and we will work on that now so first thing we'll do is we want to fix this section first and let's go ahead and We'll select the modify tool and we'll, I think we can actually select the vertexes right here and we can push them kind of outwards. So this way it doesn't, it doesn't stay too visible in there. And yeah, you can still see there's something in here. Let me try to show the hidden lines on this. Okay, so yeah, I'm not seeing. Okay, maybe a face it is better. Yeah, I'm still not seeing where that point is where I can move it but anyway so now we can try to work on this sleeve we just have to move it kind of more downwards and for that we can select maybe we can use this one to select it. so all we have to do is just go across this section and 
yeah just go ahead and pick this whole sleeve up and we will also there are certain things that we don't need like this part right here we don't need that or this yeah just so it doesn't mess with the textures that much okay we just kind of want to shift shift the whole sleeve a little bit lower i would say and then we're just gonna try to push it a li little bit lower like that and i think we also should try to push this one as well just a little bit lower i would say like this one and yeah this things should be a little bit lower too so what we'll do is we'll push it down a bit like that and now we'll also try to tilt it as we go on and we can continue doing that until we completely get it in line with his arms yeah just like that and yeah, as you can see it's a little bit a little bit better now except this section this one is still kind of in a way and I'm seeing there's a <laughs> little bulge spot right here we can probably lower this a little bit here like that you know so it doesn't look as bad you know actually it is kind of bad okay we're just gonna move each um, each polygon so this way it kind of doesn't look weird you know and we just kind of need to make it flat so we're just gonna move it a bit this way and then we're just gonna move it a little bit downwards okay so for this section here we do need to push it out a bit so we can grab his shirt basically and this section needs to go a bit inwards there yeah like this spot right here is not doesn't look that nice we do have to push it back in like that and uh, also that one yeah, it does take a while to do this um, yeah we just have to go one by one I guess like that until it all fits in yeah I kind of messed it up in here let's see oh there we go that goes back out and yeah, there we go okay and I think the sleeve might be a little bit smaller here yeah we need to shorten this part of the jacket to do that I think well I still want to work on this hand first let's try to push this a bit closer so what we'll do is we'll select this part all those pixels um, oh yeah okay we don't need all of this too actually yeah don't select this parts only on the back section okay we're just gonna go and take off this since we are not going to mess with this yeah not yet so we just oh it keeps deselecting this part when I'm trying to work with it let's go ahead and try to do the flat line and I think also for let me find out
Oh, okay. I think this will help us <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Um, we still have to kind of look at this part because yeah I would say I think actually if we take out the red shirt from this part they will just disappear in that one show I think the only thing we would have to do is remove that yeah we'll just have to remove the um, make this sleeve shorter I would say okay and um, okay that should be good sleeves are super long on this jacket so what I'll do is I'll move this part I'll try to kind of squeeze it in there or maybe even yeah I think I'll have to make this shorter so I think if I select this part and just try to push it upwards that will kind of move it across a little bit and it's it's hard to like find the right view you know so let me see i think if i'm doing local that would make the moving easier no, actually it doesn't okay i'm just going to go up and down until i get it right uh, it has to go a little bit downwards like that And needs to then go a little bit on the side as well. And then also I have to squeeze the sleeves a little bit, just like it looks a little bit like that. So it doesn't look like <laughs> straight, but yeah, at the end it kind of squeezes the, the arm a little bit. So for this section, I would just have to grab this and oh well, I'm, I don't want to grab the, the jacket on yeah right here we do I'll take this and I think we should also take this section as well now let's look around make sure it's all good and yeah, now we can go ahead and scale it and make it a bit skinnier yeah like something like this yeah, there we go. Um, looks a bit. Yeah, it kind of has that squeeze effect. Maybe even squeeze this part a little bit more, just like that. And maybe I should move it also, just to the right, a little bit. Okay. Well, and I think it's kind of not even on this side, so I do want to move some of this towards this way make it a bit even okay now just only here yeah there we go and uh, I think this part we can actually push it in a bit and I think this part is kind of too much in here <laughs> We can actually move it a little bit higher like that. Yeah, so we can see the sleeves coming out just like on the artwork. And um, I, th I feel like this part is kind of sticking out. So I'm just gonna push this a little bit in there. Also this part. Yeah, I'll push it in. Yeah, um, yeah, UIP, yeah, thanks for subscribing. <laughs> I don't know if you're watching the 
live stream, but anyway, thanks for subscribing to my channel. Okay, so we're just going to work on this arm, uh, which kind of have to copy how it looks like on the other side. So we're just going to select probably like all the way to this part. Yeah, select this whole thing and we're just going to scale it. I think first we should <coughs> rotate it a little bit and then move it a little bit lower like that and then push it push it a bit down like that and I'm seeing there's some parts like here that needs to be lifted a little bit and I think I messed up something right here also yeah it's hard to see but let me do the wireframe mode and check what happened oh yeah I move this thing it needs to be a little bit higher maybe on the side and also this it needs to move back a bit yeah it's very hard to like <laughs> make it perfect you know it's always going to mess up like you have to fix these edges so yeah so far this is what we have and yeah, this actually came out to be a little bit better I would say, except this part. <laughs> this part needs to move back down. Okay. Yeah, and we also want to make sure that the angle of those sleeves is the same. Like this looks more even, looks more natural. This is kind of like has too such a high angle. So I think I'll also have to lower it a bit on this side. Maybe I can push it little bit down like that and maybe even rotate just uh, slightly like that and also I think this part needs to be needs to come out a little bit a little bit higher and this part also needs to be lower there we go um, well I hope all well that yeah that kind of looks messed up but <laughs> yeah, it's kind of I have to kind of work on this like one one polygon at a time, you know. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and check out this part. And what I'm thinking is, um, I do have to slightly move this arm. Let's see the sleeve. So we're actually going to. And maybe grab it all the way from there and then we're just going to m move it slightly actually not move but rotate it just like that and now slightly move it yeah there we go maybe even some more but it seems like the arm is in a perfect place so now we can just we can go ahead and shrink the sleeve a little bit on this side so first what we'll do is we'll select about two of these sections and now we will go ahead and try to push it in okay let me go ahead push it up a little bit and now to the side and now a little bit more higher a little bit more to the side now we'll focus on this section too I'll just push it up a little bit, put it on the side like that, and I think we also have to work on this section also, we're just going to push it a little bit up and to the side, and again, and then we'll push this to once again, it's just to make the polygons look even. It's kind of like trial and error. <laughs> you can't really get it right until until you get it right. Oh, okay. I messed up a little bit here. Maybe I move. I just have to move this section a little bit to the. Yeah, move this angle a little bit, and I would say this needs to be moved as well. 
need to push it back out and we'll take that off and and I think well actually hold up this would be not in the right place I'm just going to push this one a little bit higher and to the side and that looks kind of straight I would say yeah now we can now we can go ahead and drink the sleeve a little bit so we'll go ahead and take I believe we'll take like half of this and now we can go ahead and actually maybe even more like we'll take this much and now we'll just need to go ahead and drink it a little bit yeah just like that yeah almost almost got it and now we'll make another section here yep make it a bit shorter and then get this side we'll also make a bit shorter there yeah that's that kind of looks good but then we also have to f um, kind of move the sleeve a little bit yeah because this is a little bit I think this um, let me look how it looks here oh yeah I put it a little bit lower so I'll just move this also a little bit lower on this side so I'm just going to push it down a little bit to this yeah I'm going to keep pushing it down there we go and I think this part needs to be pushed back upwards there we go and this part let's actually go from this angle so it doesn't touch those other ones yeah there we go and we will also do this one push it a bit this one will be a little bit sticking out okay and yeah like that and there we go that looks better now we'll just push this a little bit there we go starting to look like something <laughs> and this right here we will also push it out a bit and I think this texture needs to come out as well it's kind of it's kind of like not in the right place there okay and I think I push it down a little bit like that that's good now let's get this one and also this one yeah, it's hard to like tell which direction those polygons gonna move because kinda have to have a feel for it now this part needs to go a little bit lower and yeah, there we go that kind of looks a little bit better and uh, push it a little bit upwards a little bit out like that yeah I think this is good I'm just gonna lower this a little bit and push it in okay so there we go we have the jacket on him so it, now we just have to get rid of those textures from the that one that are sticking out because underneath the ja jacket you want kinda you don't have to look at it so you won't need to see it so next we will work on the jacket that he has is um, let's go ahead select it and we'll go ahead and fix his in polygon mod we can actually 
take almost like half of this arm right here and just we can just completely erase these parts uh, hold up <laughs> it's trying to trying to get this section because it's sticking out as well but we don't need we do want to keep this one we don't need to remove that only only certain sections here there we go so if we delete this part it shouldn't affect any of the parts here and we do need to select this individual parts because they're also sticking out yeah these ones are sticking out yeah we'll pick those and we'll also pick those things I think there's something here sticking out as well okay now we press delete and there we go we got rid of those little textures there let me also pick this ones seems like they're also in a way so now we have the jacket on him now we're just gonna take out all of these textures from the ones that are sticking out yep um, except this we want to keep that and we keep this one yeah we do want to keep that part and yeah let's make those textures underneath those textures we do want to keep them and for the rest of them we can get rid of them yep I think this is good so let's delete this so now we have the sleeve sticking out perfect oh we missed the part here <laughs> okay uh, I would have to do select it from this angle and make sure it doesn't take anything else delete and we can now take a look at how it looks like yeah there we go he has a jacket now kinda looks similar to what you see on the on his artwork I think it should be more like more black I would say but I think inside the viewport here it just looks gray because of the how it looks in the I think once we get in inside the game and take a look at it then we can actually see the true colors of this you know yeah I'm going to try to export this first version and we'll go ahead and see how it comes out so now we're just going to now this is would be the difficult part is to actually be able to we'll have to attach the jacket to the body of the character and this way we can first we have to transfer the texture inside um, I do have to open this window so I can see everything more easily so I'm just going to stick it right in here and I'll rename this as the jacket uh yeah the suit okay and this suit will go inside the skeleton of the character and so what I'm doing now is from this menu I'm going to select vertex edit and I'm gonna pick his jacket first to control oh wait no never mind <laughs> not control um, yeah I'll just have to select the vertexes of all the of his whole jacket and do I believe it should be attach and then I'm going to attach the suit to the shirt 
and then I believe that's how it should look like now so and now we're just gonna test the skin make sure the envelopes work the envelopes are basically the collision textures so they should be also working on the jacket as well otherwise the jacket might look weird inside so let's go ahead and do facets okay we I think we can now we don't need edged faces hidden lines I'm trying to get rid of I think if I press F3 or oh no neither of those work let's find out how we can fix it but anyway let me just go through each through each one because they do have to have some kind of colors popping in especially on that jacket sections yeah you can see how the color change when I'm transferring like this is the blue like the blue is I think the blue is the one that is very like loose means it can be movable but if it's like super red means like it's very like it's stuck in place and cannot be moved you know like you can see they have um like orange spot here means it's like semi rigid and then like the blue one is where he can move the clothes will be like bendable on the red side it's like not bendable so i'm just going through going through each one make sure it's all looks okay and i do think it looks okay now now we can actually try to export the texture and see how it works so first what we will do would be we will export the texture yeah i think there will be a problem with the colors of the jacket but we <laughs> we will see if we can fix that later on um, okay let's see so if, I, if it has no problem it should export it successfully yeah hey um kevin flores yeah thanks <laughs> um, okay model directory upper hasn't got any geometries oh, okay um got you i think i did i did forgot to do one more thing here I actually have to delete all of this because I don't need those textures no more I only want to have just one which is this one and now I will be going through and let's uh, export it see how it looks like Okay, now we should be able to export the open format. Okay, we'll select this folder. So let's see how I'm sure this will work now. Okay, uh, it is finished. Now we can go ahead and try to insert it, import it into the game. Let's hope it works. If not, then I guess we'll have to figure out what happened. 
So we're just going to go into the component pads and actually I'm going to uh, let's see this is the I think this that's the new game that I got so okay yeah this should work fine then let me find Faustin from here and then we'll do edit mode and we will also now we can go ahead press new we can import the open format and from here we can pick the new texture the new skin so let's see how it looks like inside so this is uh, let's select all of them okay well <laughs> it's blue so I mean not blue it's kind of pink pink but it's um this is not the actual color that it will display in the game we'll actually have to go inside the game and find out what kind of thing is gonna show us and I just noticed I think it looks kind of thick on the sides there I should probably work on that but yeah we'll we'll probably fix that in couple versions yeah it's well, this is the first version, so we'll see. Usually it takes me like 10 different versions until I get it right. <laughs> so let me let me go inside the game. And yeah, I'll s we'll take a look how it looks like. there not sure what happened but let me go ahead and I do have another copy of the game let's use a new copy of the game so we're just going to change the game directory it would be this one okay now we're just going to replace it into this copy of the game I think it's because sometimes when you replace textures like the game might break and then you have to like clear the the like the cache files then it would work again but for now I'm just going to use this this is the texture um like the model that is the original yeah it just has the jacket and that's it but now let's import the new one And that should be the new one. Let's take a look. Yep, there we go. So let's test it out. Let's play this one. Okay. Oh, I feel like this got... <laughs> oh yeah, it's actually doesn't refer to the right directory I'll have to f target it again or I'll, I can just go ahead and go in this folder and um, let me run the game from here yeah this is it okay let's test let's test it out it should work now hopefully
Okay, so yeah, there we go. We're in the game. Let's change the time of day so we can uh, actually see better. And yeah, that's my modded game. Let's go ahead and spawn Faustin. Okay, we're just gonna scroll through this part and um, let's find them. There we go, found them. Or maybe, yeah, downwards. Starts with F. There we go. And what's going on? Alright. Seems like he didn't get replaced. Oh, I know why. Okay. I know why. <laughs> I have to actually replace it in a different folder. That's okay. Um, let's actually do it one more time because I put his character in a mod uh, mod loader, which is a uh, the thing I use for the textures of the characters. So I'll have to change his character here as well. So here I'm going to import it again. Okay, let's import it, and that should be the one that he has. Okay, and that's the jacket with the with the suit. Cool. Now we can play the game, and now I believe it should work. Yeah, um, I'm just working on the character model right now, but if I do fix it, I'll maybe use that character to try to do some shootout, just for a little bit. Yeah, let's just find out how it works. Hopefully it does work. <laughs> yeah. I just have two different uh, component pads, folders. I use one for like the lot mod, um, mod loader, which is run separate and it doesn't affect the battery the files. So let's go ahead and change the weather, uh, time of day. Let's uh, go ahead and try to spawn in the character. And we're just going to go scroll through that until we get to. Faustin. There we go, Faustin. Alright, well, look what happened. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, Alright, something is wrong with the bottom of his jacket, as you can see. It's kind of attached to his arms, I would say. Yeah, and any time he moves his arms, the jacket also moves. And the jacket is the same color as his shirt. That's something I have to work on to figure out Mallory, how to change the that. The man who got Roman killed is dead. It's almost, won't bring him back, will almost it? there. He'll never say. even meet his son. Son? I'm pregnant. We were gonna say something at the reception. Your child. Yeah, Faustin be talking in Nico's voice. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of hey, weird. I mean, when he walks, kind of looks like the jacket is flapping in, in the air or something. But uh, yeah, it, it doesn't look that good, and uh, I feel like the arms is kind of messed up as well. Yeah, the arms is kind of all over the place. So I do have to try to fix that. And I think I have to edit those um, collision envelopes again to be able to not attach the arm to the jacket. I think it should actually stay attached to the body of the character but for some reason. His arms is there too. His arms is moving that jacket with him. Nico, 
Nico, I heard about your cousin. Nico, I am so sorry. So am I. If you want to talk about it, if you want anything, Nico, if you just want... He changed his character. I see. Interesting. I didn't even do that. Anyway, so yeah, we figure out that um, yeah, his jacket needs to be worked on a little bit more, and it seems like his hands is kind of. <laughs> Something's going on right there. That little texture is like popping in or something. Also here on the bottom. Needs to be worked on. Yeah, it's like I, I always have trouble with this. Envelopes on the clothes. And never get them right. Especially the face. The face is really fine. try to work on this a little bit more we also have to figure out how to <laughs> change his colors of the of his um, jacket because it's like the same color as his shirt I guess it uses like the same texture for the whole thing so we'll have to figure out we need we still have to change his envelopes basically and we will take a look because his arms is basically making something to do with those yeah the, it flaps with the hands so we have to figure out why it's doing that Okay, so I see that the head, yeah, it did not have any problem with the head and it has blue color on the on the shoulders. So I think this is fine. Now we're just going to, this is the, what's that, clavicle, 
Yeah, I'm not sure if that was supposed to be there like that. It looks like there's yellow and blue there. But nowhere else. <laughs> and it's the L, which means on the left side. Okay. So now these fingers, that's what I want to take a look at. It's either the fingers or the hands that affect the jacket. So far I don't see any problems it's on the left side. Yeah, like this is, I can see it's red right here and also there's some yellow stuff there. And actually this way you can see like the red is the ones that don't move much and like the orange is like they move a little bit, blue is like very loose so that can be movable so I just have to figure out which part messes up with this <laughs> so for now we're just looking at the arms okay there we go we have left thigh the left thigh actually controls this whole thing so I don't see any problems on this side Okay, there goes the upper arm. Yeah, this looks fine. Let's take a look at the neck. Yep, neck looks fine. Okay, this is maybe that's where the problem is at. No, it doesn't touch the arms. Okay, now the right side. Okay, four four wrist should be yeah, it should be fine. Okay, the hand Oh, there we go, I see what happens. So there's one. I think we have to remove this blue blue circle. So we'll have to edit the vertices and let's go ahead and work on taking this out. Okay. Um, yeah, vertices, we will let's select one of them and we will we'll just have to go ahead and remove it let's see if I still remember how to do this part oh there I think this is it maybe even press like delete oh no never mind not that <laughs> don't want to delete it okay was right um I think it was right arm. Okay. Okay, there we go. The tie. Now we will try to shrink this. No, never mind. It doesn't do that. Okay, so okay, we'll exclude them. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how to get rid of this part. Paint weights, and let's actually maybe we we'll do reverse of it. Now I'm just painting those now. Okay, I'm just <laughs> painting too much at this point. However, we have to select it. And to do the selection. OK, 
game. Now I'm trying to figure out how to do this stuff. Okay, well, yeah, it seems like I'm not exactly sure how to work with this yet, so I guess for now I'm not going to waste too much time on this. So I'll just work on this, like, I'll do some more research on how to edit those envelopes again. And, you know, I'll just work off camera for now then maybe I'll, if I do finish this whole thing, I'll do send an update or I will make another video about this. Yeah, but so far, yeah, it seems like some, I'm not exactly sure how to remove the envelopes like this. <laughs> the tie part is actually attached to the sleeve and like, I know what the problem is, I just have to figure out how to remove that vertices from there. Yeah, or maybe actually, hold up, I did select it. Let's see. Oh, well, I think I actually did it. Oh, as soon as I said it, I was able to find out how to do it. <laughs> okay, well, there we go, I did find the problem, and I think I actually fixed it. Now let's, let's also take a look at the other parts. We have a toe. And um, what else we have? This would be the arm. Now the spine. I think the spine shouldn't have. I don't think spine needs to have an arm with it because on this side it only has all the way until that. Yeah, the spine actually we can probably take off this vertices from here. We might not need them. Yeah, we can remove those ones and even probably this one too. And maybe even that one. Okay. Now actually do include this one. That is okay. Okay, now let's go ahead and press exclude. Uh, what happened there? Why did that went all the way? <laughs> That's so strange. 
Okay, that's weird. Let's try to edit the mesh a little bit. Oh, actually, that part was fine. Okay, character spine. Okay, so let's just go through each one again, make sure we are not missing anything. Okay, character spine. I do see there's another one I missed. <laughs> so we'll exclude that vertice. And it seems like from everything else that I'm seeing, it looks okay. And now we can go ahead and go to the next one. Oh, there's like so many spines in here. I guess I'll have to work on each one. Okay. Let's do this spine number one. I feel like this sections is not necessary let's go ahead take those off yep that's fine and we will also remove some remove some of these ones okay yeah we'll exclude those vertices yeah, I just want it to only affect the body, not the arms. Now we can go spine number two. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Spine number two, don't need those vertices there. And here is almost perfect. I'm just going to take off some of those. There we go. Oh, there's one. Yeah, take that off, we don't need that. Okay, spine number three. This actually don't look that bad. Yeah, maybe that should be just the way it should be like that. Yeah, that's fine. Now let's look at the other parts. See if we can find any problems. Okay, extra is like the bottom section. So I don't think that should cause any problems. Now we're just going to go through, find if there's anything that can be fixed, like the arm. Yeah, that, that looks okay, I think. Let me see. Yeah, that's fine. Now let's go ahead and go through the next ones. And I think that's it. Well, let's try to export it one more time now. It seems like it did get, I fixed it just a bit to test. Yeah, let's go ahead and test it out. If it works, then I'm probably going to end the stream there. And, you know, I'll just work on it for a little bit. Then if I do have any major breakthroughs, I'll, I'll do another live stream or maybe I'll make a video about it. I'll just post it. So let's go ahead and make a new skin. Let's go ahead and make a new folder here. Let's call it version number two.
Okay. Now yeah, it's all done. So now let's go ahead and do the replacement one more time. We will import the new textures from the version number two. And we'll go ahead and do that. Now we will go ahead and play the game and test it out. Okay. So GTA 4, let's let's see how it goes. I'm like probably 90% sure it will work. Or I at least I hope that the hands won't be causing the problem with those flap and jacket at the back section because I did took uh, took those collisions from there. I, I just hope the jacket doesn't get even worse because I know that's usually what happens okay so let's go ahead and spawn the new character okay we will go ahead and make the Faustin character okay there we go well what's going on now <laughs> yeah, it still has the same problem. So something is causing it to move this way. Kinda looks like uh, it's maybe the maybe the elbow of the character, because kind of moves along with the elbow. <laughs> as much as the elbow moves, that's how much that thing moves to. Well, actually, why did it go this way? <laughs> this is so funny. When I lift it up, the whole thing lifts up. I wonder what causes this thing. This is like the difficult part of trying to figure out why the jacket just don't act normal, you know. Mallory, the man who got robbed. some remodeling down here <laughs> say 5k TV bye bye TV okay yeah something's wrong with the arm still have to yeah I'll have to just do some research because there's very little information about how to work on this stuff so it's not like I can fix it right away so I'll have to I'll have to learn a little bit more about editing those envelopes to make sure that this cannot this won't happen like that yeah seems like I feel like something does do that it seems like it is the right arm that is making those moves because anytime my right arm moves in a weird way then the whole thing moves too so yeah that might let me see if I do this actually it might be my left arm because when he does that hand movement yeah yeah I think it's actually the left arm because when I'm moving the right arm it doesn't move but if you can if you look it kind of sinks with the left arm more than the right one yeah, it is the left arm. So something's wrong with the left arm that moves the bottom section of the jacket. So I'll have to figure out, and also have to figure out this uh, little glitch texture that with the arms. Seems like some of the arms are not being attached, <laughs> so it kind of stays in that one spot 
Or maybe that arm is attached to the body somehow. Yeah, because it doesn't move. So, yeah, we'll have to figure out a bunch of things. And I'll probably have to do some research about that. <coughs> anyway, um, yeah, that would be all for today. Yeah, thanks for watching and, you know, do subscribe if you want to see some more of this modding stuff I'm doing. Yeah, alrighty, so see you all later.